Go to the clip. Go to the clip. I was dancing. <laughs> Any uh, message you have for our Sahara One viewers out there? Um, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, yes. Live your life. Follow your dream. Live with passion. That's, that's you, she was giving you. She was giving you a chance to plug what you're in, sir. You should plug <laughs> that. This is what a director has to do with an actor. Tell so, her. Yeah, while we're here, why don't you? Why don't you keep you us? Know, nice. Why don't you update us with some of your upcoming projects? What are you doing that's right now? One. Okay, I'm in a brand new hospital drama. It's called Saving Hope. It airs on CTV and NBC uh, in June. You can check that out. I play a doctor. Yep, I know. My parents are so proud. Finally, he's a doctor on TV. At least, yeah, exactly. You're not really a doctor. You play one on TV. Oh, yeah. Wow. No, whatever. It's great. It's great. Yeah. So check that out. And an uh, HBO Canada show called Call Me Fitz. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. Well, look at this. It's a total, total celebrity. Um, I wish you all the best. That Thanks sounds amazing. How about you, RT, Mr. Producer, Director? What do you have coming up? I mean, I'm always directing stuff. Um, uh, I got, I don't know. Um, video. Yeah, we just, and we did it. We did it. We did this uh, uh, video with uh, Big Sean and Alicia. Uh, Sean Desmond videos. Um, you know, lots of stuff like that. Always going on for me. I am so honored to be able to interview such celebrities. It was a pleasure, guys. Thank you so much Thanks for speaking with us. And I will see you inside. We're gonna dance together. Sure. We're gonna go dance. Promise. All right, we're gonna dance. <laughs> Never dancing. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank hey, you so much. Enjoy your night. I'll see you. Hey guys, I'm here with Melinda and Melanie Shankar, How to Be Indie. Oh my God, I have watched your show, girl, so many times. It's so nice to see you all dressed up here. Yeah. How are you feeling? I'm good. I mean, I play 13 on the show, so it's nice to not have to be like five years younger than I actually am. So it's nice. Well, I wouldn't complain about that. If you can get away with playing 13, I think you're going to be good for, for, for a long time to come. Lots of layers of clothing is the magic of that. That's it. <laughs> Come on, come on, stop being modest. How are you doing today? I'm great, thanks. And you guys have uh, been, uh, you know, people, you've come to Anoki many times before. How do you like it so far now? Well, I did the cover last year, and then we did um, the gala last year, and my sister was always my red carpet date, so this is the two of us, Melanie and Melinda. I'd rather I'd rather come with my sister, too, don't worry. Absolutely, we? absolutely. She's my favorite. So tell us a little bit about what you have coming up in store for your audience, your fans out there. Any new projects on the uh, rise there? I'm doing an American tour in a couple of weeks of different like states and we're doing like mall tours meeting fans. Season 12 of Degrassi, which is my fifth year. And you know, we did our episode of Cribs and now we're just like, you know, enjoying the limelight and taking it all in. Well, that's lovely. You deserve it. I'm a big fan. So good luck, ladies. Congratulations on all your upcoming efforts and I'm sure you're going to enjoy the party in there. Thank you. See you later. Hello, hello, Sahara One viewers. A special treat for you guys. We've got our gorgeous local celebrity, Veronica Chael, here in the house. How are you, Veronica? Uh, wonderful. Feeling amazing. Feeling and looking fabulous. You look absolutely gorgeous. And uh, how are you enjoying the atmosphere so far? It's pretty uh, phenomenal. It's Bollywood in Vegas. Can you go any bigger or better? I don't know. <laughs> Absolutely not. So you are good friends with Raj and you've been coming to the event uh, you know, over and over. Does it not get bigger and better every year? Every single year she does it bigger and better. She always exceeds expectations. And this year, why not? Bollywood in Vegas. Whoever thought you know, that would happen. It's awesome. Absolutely. And the, the word Bollywood is in here. So of course the lovely host from Bollywood Boulevard. You guys have all have seen it. She had to be here. So there's lots of performances coming up. Uh, what are you looking forward to the most? Uh, I mean, I love music. Music is my therapy. Uh, I just love celebrating South Asian talent, South Asian culture. We're doing it big. We're rocking some, or we're kicking some serious butt in this world, right? And <laughs> it's about time. And I mean, uh, I'm just thrilled to be amongst such talented individuals and to be recognized amongst them as well. well. You're a celebrity yourself and you've been doing Bollywood Boulevard, which we absolutely love. Oh, stop it. We all know she is. Look at her. <laughs> So what else? Do you have any other projects on the horizon? What else are you involved in? You want to update our viewers? Sure. I am going to be hosting the second season of Bollywood Top 10 Best, which is coming out soon. I have various media projects, which I'm kind of keeping tight-lipped about right now, but you will know about it very soon. We'll be releasing details about that shortly. Uh, working on anti-human trafficking initiatives, a lot of charitable work. You got to do it. Uh, you got to spread the word. You got to spread love. Uh, and just working, working, and working. That's all right. I don't sleep, right? Yeah. I always say, uh, just as 50 Cent says, sleep is for broke people. That's right. I totally agree with you. Keeping yourself busy is, is good. I don't mind. It's the devil's paradise, right? Yeah, absolutely, right? Absolutely. So look at this, guys. Beauty and brains. Veronica Chael, thank you so much, Veronica, for speaking with us. Hey, guys. I'm standing here with another local celebrity, the other half of Bollywood Boulevard, Mohit Rajans. How are you doing, Mohit? 
I'm excellent. How are you? I'm good. I'm a little bit nervous interviewing you because it's usually you doing the interviews, right? Okay, so should we ask you the questions? No, then? no, 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 no. Nobody no, wants do, to know anything I about me. I tell you that I think you're doing a great job. Really? I'm trying. No, no you are. I've I, been watching your clips. Well, it's funny because I'm watching your stuff right now and I, I'm so inspired by what great work you're doing. Well, thank you so much. I know, gonna... I know that it takes a lot of uh, a lot of people behind the scenes, etc. but uh, you look great on TV. So. Thank you so much. Well, I'm following the local South Asian king of media here, Mohit Rajans oh. himself. Yes, absolutely. That's Come not... on, let's not be modest. You and Veronica both too modest. No, you know what? The idea is uh, we always want to build on our community. And it's so inspiring to see people like yourself and people like Anoki. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's uh, it's great to see everybody sort of elevate to another level. Absolutely. So speaking of Anoki, how are you feeling about the event tonight? What do you like? Uh, what do you see so far? You like what you see? You know, I've been honored uh, with the Anoki uh, sexy and successful. Oh my goodness. Um, I didn't want to mention that. I didn't want to, you know, make you all shy. <laughs> Um, I've been honored in the past, and I have to say, uh, again, it's it's such a great opportunity to celebrate what it is to be South Asian. Canada is a great country, we've got great talent, like yourself, and like all the people we're celebrating tonight, so. Absolutely, thank you so much. So tell us a little bit about that. You're a multi-talented person, you've got lots of things going on. Um, what projects do you have coming up uh, that you want to tell our audience about? What, you're holding your wedding ring there? What is that? It's my security blanket. <laughs> Uh, I have uh, some great things happening. You know, uh, 2011 was a monumental year for the work that we yeah. did, and uh, it was for sort of Bollywood in Toronto and Canada in general. Yeah. And um, if I said anything more, I think I'd get in a lot of trouble. All but there's right. some great things happening, including some more Bollywood in the city of Toronto. Absolutely. This coming from the man who took over IFA hair and did all the coverage. I saw that. I was up to beat. I was watching you. I don't know if, it, if I took over IFA, but you the did, point... You, you, were, you were the one that brought us all the news, right? Well, uh, we, had a, we had a great team. And you know, it was a monumental, it was a monumental year for it us. Really so. Well, congratulations on all of your achievements, and it's such a pleasure to speak to you. All I hope is that we see a little bit more of you on TV, and you keep doing your thing. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm going to definitely try to follow